Good morning, and welcome to your Friday Extra. My name is Michael Brady, Chair of the Legislative Committee for the Bronx Chamber of Commerce. Today we have a lot to talk about. The Chamber has been very, very busy this week. Um, number one, notably, I think that impacts a lot of our businesses is inflation. Um, as many folks uh, may know, the Federal Reserve, in an effort to calm inflation, increased interest rates by three quarters of a percent yesterday. And while the stock market did rally for about two hours or so, we're seeing a very conservative approach right now by investors. Uh, and uh, we've taken some hits earlier earlier this morning, and, and we hope that the measures that the Federal Reserve put in place will at least slow the inflationary numbers that we're seeing uh, right now. We know it's impacting a lot of our businesses. We know that things like meat for many of our butchers are up about 40, 45%, steel for folks in constructions up about 30%, and the prices go on and on and on. This inflation is a combination of several things. Um, it's a combination of high gasoline prices, uh, supply chain issues, labor shortages, and uh, essentially we're feeling the effects of a lot of that instant cash flow that came during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, the Chamber, um, myself, and a group of business organizations last year, we did sound the alarm on the inflation. We were informed that the inflation would, would not be as bad or for as long as it, as it, as it has been. Um, we are now currently working with our partners at the SBA and the Federal Reserve and on the ground here in the Bronx to ensure that whatever tactics are being uh, deployed to help address inflation, uh, we approach it with an equitable and holistic model that really cares for our small business community. Continuing on speaking about money, we have a great cause for celebration. Uh, earlier this week, the City Council passed the Fiscal Year 23 budget. Um, this is a $101 million budget, uh, which really uh, speaks to the heart of where New York City's head is. Uh, oftentimes we hear that uh, budgets are living and moral documents that guide our city. Um, I, th I believe that this budget that was passed really speaks to a lot of the priorities that are coming out of City Hall, particularly in the areas of public safety, quality of life issues, and the social safety net that the City Council has pushed, uh, has historically pushed for, uh, ensuring that all residents of the City of New York have access to uh, equal and equitable services, uh, regardless of where you live or what you do or who you are. So congratulations to the City Council on passing that budget. The Schedule C has been published and is in the body of this uh, email text. Moving forward, uh, yesterday we had the opportunity to join uh, Mayor Adams, uh, Councilmember Salamaca, uh, Council Chair Amanda Farias, and the New York City EDC uh, at Barreto Point Park in Hunts Point to, re uh, to release the Hunts Point Forward Plan. Uh, this is a comprehensive plan that was developed by and for the community, uh, and it's a 15-year vision for Hunts Point. It involves some immediate solutions and some long-term visions that will address uh, quality of life, job creation, and deliver upgrades to open space, transportation, and other infrastructure items. Uh, this is currently backed by a $40 million investment by Mayor Adams, and we hope that will grow over time to include uh, a holistic plan for the Hunts Point produce markets um, as we seek to ensure that this, this bustling hub of the Bronx is really well maintained and cultivated for the future. Lastly, before I get into events, uh, this week Mayor Adams uh, released the Housing for Our Neighbors Plan, a blueprint for housing and homelessness. This also comes at a time where Governor Kathy Hochul last week signed the Hotel Conversion Plan in an effort to provide more permanent housing in the city of New York. Please read the plan as it is in this body of the email. Uh, we'll be reporting uh, back as the plan is implemented throughout HPD. On to events. We have some very, very exciting events coming up at the Chamber. The Chamber has literally been in every section of the Bronx this week, um, something that we're really very proud of. Um, and it speaks to the work of, of many of our partners uh, from the South Bronx all the way up to Riverdale, to Zariga, to Morris Park and everywhere in between. The Chamber has been on the ground uh, doing events and they will continue. Um, there are a few, few highlights that I, I think um, you would all benefit from hearing about. Um, one, because it's been such a hot button issue uh, when we speak to business owners and community members um, is on the uh, concept of cannabis. So there'll be a Bronx Cannabis Forum being hosted by the Office of Bronx Borough President Vanessa L. Gibson in partnership with uh, the Bronx Community Foundation and Bronx Defenders. Um, it will be at the uh, Bronx Museum at uh, 1040 Grand Concourse on Tuesday, June 21st. The speakers will be the Borough President, Senator Jamal Bailey, who currently chairs the Codes Committee, 
and Tremaine Wright, the chair of the Cannabis Control Board. Uh, we would recommend that everyone who is interested in cannabis, whether from a real estate perspective, whether from a licensing perspective, or just for your general knowledge, attend that event. It should be really well attended, and uh, I, I think that you'll you'll learn a great deal. Coming up, we have our new member uh, breakfast on July 6th. We have uh, the MTA Small Business Development Program Workshop on July 12th, Small Business Financing on July 13th, uh, CKO Self-Defense Training and Networking for Chamber Members also on July 13th in the evening, uh, and then July 28th at 6 o'clock we have a networking barbecue event at uh, Pelham Split Rock Golf Course. Um, these, of course, are in addition to our signature event, the golf outing, which takes place next week. We're very excited to welcome over 120 golfers to the course and really celebrate the best of the Bronx uh, post-COVID-19 and get everyone back together again. Um, so again, this is Michael Brady from the Bronx Chamber of Commerce wishing you a great, great Friday and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.